What is going on everybody? It's back again, the big foodies. Only two of us this time, unfortunately Biggie's not feeling great. Not feeling great. Like, I didn't know what to say that. I didn't know if it was important. So yeah, Biggie's not feeling great. So just BB Shea and Matt today. Uh, we're on the road once again and going to try out some new stuff from one of our favorite places, Zaxby's. Zaxby's. They just released some brand new tacos, which kind of was interesting, but I'm excited to try them. When you so, think Zaxby's, you think tacos. I mean, I don't, but I mean, the, the new chicken finger tacos, they got two new flavors, the Chipotle Ranch and the Avocado Ranch, and they also have some new cheesecake fried cheesecake bites so which that, that in itself sounds fantastic so well the the first thing i want to point out is the ingeniousness of the packaging look at that you can fit three tacos one two and three and they hold their shape extremely well so your presentation is still absolutely beautiful you know if there's a hot dog restaurant i would take that into consideration because that's perfect right there. if i was taco bell yeah that I would, would be take this into wow. consideration so what is that the uh this is the chipotle chipotle ranch Enjoy your taco. Decent looking taco. Big chicken strip. Zaxby's has a good chicken strip. They do. They're one of my more favorite chicken places to go to. They've got pico, lettuce, tomato, and the chipotle ranch on it. The pico is oniony. Very. Not, the sauce doesn't cut too much either. I'm not getting a lot of Chipotle ranch. No. I'm getting the Zaxby's chicken. Yeah. It's a very basic tortilla, basic lettuce, basic cheese. Mm. Chicken's killer. Yeah. That's, it's kind of bland. Mm -hmm. You know? There's nothing, like if, I feel like if that Chipotle Ranch was a little bit more intense, had a better flavor, probably kick it up a notch, but mm -hmm. there's nothing really exciting about it. Yeah, I don't it, know. It's good, but it's not like, you know, amazing. It doesn't taste like a Chipotle Ranch. No. It just tastes like a Chipotle colored mayonnaise. Yeah. So next up, same presentation. Yeah. But this one got bacon on it. Yep. Avocado, um ranch bacon chicken so this is lettuce tomato yeah, bacon yeah. chicken avocado ranch got a full slice of tomato on there yeah the ranch has more flavor mm -hmm. it doesn't taste anything like avocado no it's just ranch the bacon kicks it up a notch mm -hmm. the full tomato kicks it up a notch this one's definitely better I would have assumed that I would like the other one better. This one's definitely better. I, I was already it. negotiating in my head uh -huh. how I could convince you to eat this third one instead of the other third one. But now you want that but one. But now I want this one. <laughs> I won't fight you over it. I'm, I'm cool with either one. No, I mean, but this is definitely... If you come to try them, this is the one to get. Because you're right, the bacon's really good. Mm -hmm. You still get the chicken, but there's enough flavor from other stuff that it actually tastes like there's other things happening. And I'm not typically a tomato fan, but it works very well there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was hesitant. I was nervous mm -hmm. after the first one, which I expected to like more. Here's my concern for Zaxby's. People are gonna go in wanting the Chipotle Ranch. Exactly try it, be disappointed, and never make their way to the avocado ranch. That's a good point. Now, I feel like the Chipotle ranch, if they made it a little bit spicy, I don't, they don't do spicy tenders here, though. No. Which they probably should. The, yeah, the Chipotle ranch is lacking a little bit, but still good, still worth the shot, I think. Still good. Still good. Now, I'm really excited about these. Fried cheesecake bites. And I'm going to tell you, the smell on these things is incredible. Oh, man. It smells like the Carolina Classic Fair. It here. smells like a fair. <laughs> what do they got? A strawberry dipping sauce? It's a strawberry too? dip. Yeah, it looks like a sweet and sour sauce. It's a strawberry Ooh, dipping uh, sauce. I kind of want to taste one on its own first. Don't let me stop you. Looks like a chicken nugget. 
it looks like honestly if you set these out it'd be like oh somebody got like mac and cheese bites okay okay i need to dip it in that mm, that's hot it was hot i'm gonna dip yeah good consistency on the dip i'm not losing anything dripping off here mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know how to explain this. It's very, it's, it's interesting. It's what? Interesting. It's interesting. It's interesting. Wow. It's good. Weird consistency. Because the shell is very much like a mozzarella, it's a cheese curd or a yeah. mac and cheese bite or something along those lines. But you don't get anything savory in there. No. And the cheesecake by itself isn't super, it's not very sweet. Mm -mm. It, it, the sauce is. The sauce is very sweet, which I think that that's what complements the cheesecake so well. You definitely need the sauce. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> I don't want to say bland, but it's kind of bland. It's very, it's a, it's a weird flavor bite. Yeah. Cause like, I've had mozzarella sticks. I've had mac and cheese bites. I've had fried. I've had a lot of stuff deep fried. I've been to a fair. Yeah. A lot of times the inside still has its own like texture. There's none of yeah, that here. You bite just right through it. It's literally like it's just a cushion. Yeah. And you're just going through the cushion of the cheesecake. There's not a lot of cheesecake flavor, although cheesecake doesn't really have like a potent flavor. You're right, but what flavor it does has it's the friedness just completely kills or yeah. takes over. Everything I'm getting from this is in the breading. Yes, you know what? Pump that up a little bit. Some cinnamon sugar. Probably. If they ran that through some cinnamon sugar, that would I think kick it up a lot. I'm. I'm None of this went as I thought it would. No, I thought. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> Nothing that I've eaten. Today. I'm not disappointed, but I, I don't know. I just had higher expectations. I didn't know what, but that's the thing. I don't know what I expected. I, I, it's almost like I expected it to be like I'm used to cheesecake being room temperature colder. Yeah. This so is, the fact <laughs> that it was hot, <laughs> it's weird. Kind of threw me off. I've had this conversation before, and I think the reason that people find certain food combinations weird is that you're used to having them at a certain temperature okay ketchup for example yeah i feel like there are times that ketchup goes weird on certain things because you're used to having it cold versus hot or you're used to dipping a hot fry or a hot nugget in cold ketchup yeah when you dip something cold into cold ketchup, it changes it, everything you, about you're, it. You're hundred percent right. So I think the fact that I'm I'm not used to cheesecake being hot, like to a point where you gotta yeah to eat it. That that's throwing my brain for and a that, And that's what makes cheesecake good is the coldness of it mm -hmm. and like the refreshing. That this isn't. It tastes good, but it's not refreshing. I wonder. I wonder what would happen if you put these in a fridge. What's and, the breading gonna do? I don't know if it gets soggy or not. It's going to be a thicker bite. Yeah, it would be a thicker bite. It'd be harder to bite through. I don't think it would get... I don't know how soggy it would be because there's not a lot of moisture inside no. of it. That'd be interesting to me. I honestly didn't know if I would get these hot or cold. Yeah. I, do you think half of it has to do with the fact that Biggie's not here? Is that why it's kind of underwhelming to you? <laughs> no. No, I, I just... I miss him. Yeah. We're in a different car for this yeah, no, than we this normally is, are when yeah. we get in a car. Yeah. I don't know, I'm just, it's like my brain's trying to process the fact that it just had hot cheesecake. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I get, like, I get hey, it, you yeah. you just had hot cheesecake. Yeah, that's, I've never heard of hot cheesecake. Nothing. I mean, hey, you know, if you want to come by Zaxby's, try the tacos, try the uh, deep fried cheesecake bites, get, here for you. Send your brain on a culinary collision with exactly. the unknown. It's worth a shot, I think, so come on out, try them out, um, yeah.
That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. Yeah. That's it for the Big Foodies. BB Shea and Matt Sands Biggie today. Hopefully he gets it feeling better. And uh, we'll talk to you guys next time with the Big Foodies. Thank you.